Now, I told you about my, my arrogance and cockiness already. Now, the greatest artist that God has ever exist, uh, created is now working for him. <laughs> When pride comes, then comes disgrace. Been friends for a long time, a long, long time. Bieber wants to focus on his spirituality. I want to touch on just briefly, real quick. I know I'm going to go, but what you said about, because I felt the same exact way. Sometimes in the music business, we think that other artists don't believe in God or aren't spiritual as we are and stuff like that. So we automatically go to the normal, oh, what up? You know what I'm saying? And then when you find people, because I just was with Kanye and he told me he's a born again Christian now. And I was I, like, my first instinct was, I'm so proud of you because I could see there's a peace that he has now that just surpasses everything. Jesus wants you to get in that car. Sit in that car. Follow me to the promised land. When someone comes up and says something like, I am a God, everybody says, who does he think he is? I just told you who I thought I was, a God. So there's theories that there's infinite amounts of universe and there's alternate universe. So it's very important for me to get Hoover out because in an alternate universe, I am him. Kanye has a, ch has he started a church or what's going on? Because I see that there's a church now that he's going yeah, to Yeah, we didn't really have a name for it because it's more of just a healing experience. It was something it that It looks Kanye, like fun based on the videos that I've seen. It is. Fun. It's so just like emotional. The music is so, um, it really is this healing experience for anyone that just is. You all go to this? It's really uplifting and you feel excellent. We have so many friends that maybe feel a little too judgmental when they go to church or something like that. When they come here, they feel so free and safe is what everybody says. And you have a great time. It's a beautiful way to start your week. Can you feel just Just love a and musical happy? experience that is pretty moving. Do you pray to Kanye or to <laughs> God at this church? I just There's told you who I thought I was, a God. There's actually, there's no praying, there's no, no praying. sermon, there's no word, it's just music and it's just a feeling. Oh, it's I... Christian. There's no praying, there's no, no praying. sermon, there's no word. It's... You know, at the end of the day, I'm going down as a legend, whether or not you like me or not. I am the new Jim Morrison, I am the new Kurt Cobain. You know, they feel like, yo, you know, he's he's got a God complex because he said if they wrote the Bible again, he would be in it. Duh, yeah, I would be in it. I feel like I'm one of the more important people, you know, in pop culture right now. One of the only people with an opinion. The Bible had, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 characters in it. The 808 that usually hits inside of the lowest chakra which is your sex chakra. TMZ reports their Kanye sources say that he threatened to walk and vented only to his team. The New York Post got hold of his audio in which West compared himself to Stanley Kubrick and Apostle Paul, as in St. Paul. Bro, by 50% Stanley Kubrick, Apostle Paul, by 50% Kubrick, by 50% more influential than any other human being. Don't f with me. By 50%, dead or alive. By 50% for the next thousand years. Kanye West, towards the end of this month, is going to be coming out with a CD, uh, a new album called uh, Jesus is King. I just want to tell you guys, don't be deceived by this, don't be deceived um, by uh, what it looks like on the surface, do your research. Kanye West is a blasphemer of God, he blasphemes. Jesus Christ, he blasphemed the crucifixion a couple years ago. He came out, uh, he was on the Rolling Stone uh, magazine cover depicting himself in the crucifixion. He came out with an 
album called Yeezus. Once again, in one of the album uh, album artwork, he depicts himself as being crucified. Um, he also had an upside down cross uh, with some women uh, around him with snake tongues. Okay, so the Bible says that in the last days that mockers and blasphemers will show up. And uh, he also has his own church, which uh, his wife, Kim Kardashian, was on the Jimmy Kimmel show. And uh, she discussed this uh, supposed church. And it's a church where she discusses that there's no word going forth. There's no preaching going forth. It's just good music and good vibes. And she's saying that this is how a church should be and that some of their friends find regular church to be quote unquote judgmental. And so in this society, in this generation, uh, believes that anything that doesn't agree with what they want to do, um, it's, it's being typecasted as being judgmental. It's being labeled as <coughs> uh, negative. Uh, when the reality there's a standard when it comes to God there's a standard when it comes to the Word of God the Bible says that without holiness no man shall see the Lord and it also says that none but the righteous shall see God the Bible says as far as that so-called church <clears throat> which this is not a Christian church it can't be a Christian church with no praying she said that no praying no preaching no word going forth that's not a Christian church that's a satanic falsehood a counterfeit that's the devil's ideology of what church should be a church with no standard when you go to second corinthians chapter 11 verse 14 it tells us and no marvel for satan himself is transformed into an angel of light when you start looking at light we can go on and on about how the bible shows us how to let our light shine that we are the light and Satan knows the scriptures back and forth. So his job is once again is to mix lies. You telling me Mormons got an extra book and Catholics do that? It's simple. Christians, we be making it too hard for people to come and be involved in this. I'm wondering, though, um, why you sidestepped Larry's earlier question about how we get to heaven. Um, the Bible clearly tells us that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the light, and the only way that the Father is through him. That's not really a message of condemnation, but of truth. Yeah, I would agree with her. I believe that. So then That's a what Jew is not going to hell. No, I... I, I can. Well, no, here's my thing, Larry, is I can't judge somebody's heart, you know. I don't know. Only God can look at somebody's heart, and so... I don't know. I just, to me, it's not my business to say, you know, this one is or this one isn't. I'm just saying, here's what the Bible teaches, and I want to put my faith in, uh, you know, in Christ. And I, I just, I think it's wrong when we go around saying, you know, you're not going, you're not going, you're not going, because it's not exactly my way. I'm just, I'm but not going to be the God. you believe your way. I believe my way. I believe my way with all my heart. But For uh, someone who doesn't share it, well, it is wrong, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, uh, Andy. Well, I don't know if I look at it like that. With a little bit of truth. The power of God cannot be calculated by a number, by a first week sale, by a, by a bank account, by how many cars you drive, by how big your house is, and how many acres you got. And Satan knows how we are the light, so he transforms himself into an angel of light to fit in. When you, when you look at this chapter at the beginning, this is Paul talking about these fake, false apostles, fake leaders, fake teachers deceitful workers transforming themselves into apostles of Christ nothing nothing and of sound mind you <laughs> you can't rob God <laughs> nothing beats God excuse me for a minute Jeremiah Johnson Jeremiah how old were you when you first started getting prophetic dreams hello Welcome to my world, where it's naturally supernatural. I have read of the great men and women of faith. One in particular intrigues me so much. His name, Smith Wigglesworth. He had some of the most outrageous miracles I ever heard of in my life. Uh, let me give you one example. Some parents had a two-month-old baby dying in the hospital. 
the parents kidnapped the child, took the child to a Smith Wigglesworth <laughs> meeting, and Smith looks at the child, looks at the parents and say, can I do what God tells me to do? Well, what would you do if you were the parents? The child's dying anyway, right? He takes the baby, two month old, throws the baby against the wall. <laughs> the baby. Then the baby's on the floor. He ta have you ever seen someone play soccer? Have you ever seen them uh, kick a soccer ball? He does that with the baby. The baby falls into the congregation. No crying. Is it dead? 100% healed. I was seven years old, Sid. My mother actually received a dream while she was pregnant with me to name me Jeremiah, so you were very prophetic <laughs> there. Well, Jeremiah, uh, for those that aren't familiar with you, tell me a few prophecies that you clearly said before the fact that have already come to pass. You know, about six months ago, I had a wild encounter about a man named Kanye West. And six months ago, I had put online, I'd had this wild dream where the Lord said to me, just as I have raised up Donald Trump as a wrecking ball to the political arena, so shall I raise up Kanye West as another wrecking ball to the religious arena. And in this dream, there was a massive gathering, and on the platform was Donald Trump, Kanye West, and Justin Bieber. And as, as they began to speak to the crowd, it was out of church, it was a 50-50 split. And what I mean by that is half of the Christians were enraged. And the Lord said to me, even as I've raised up Donald Trump, I'll raise up Kanye West, I'll raise up Justin Bieber to drive the religious spirit out of the church. And I, I believe... I believe that there's a coming move of God that the church isn't ready for, but in 2020, we're going to be ready for it, Sid. And it is this out-of-the-box revival. So I went online and I prophesied, God is going to raise up Kanye West as a wrecking ball. It was just months later when literally in the news, Kanye West comes out with this album, this conversion, and here's what the Lord said to me, and I really want our listeners tonight to, to, to tune in here. God said, I have given Kanye West as a gift to Donald Trump because he is mm. going to win him votes in the African-American community that he needs to win the 2020 election. He didn't know about it. He called over his people. He's got 10 people standing behind him. Everyone is central casting. Central casting. <laughs> glasses, 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 glasses. I'm Presbyterian. Boy, that's down the middle of the road, folks, in all fairness. I mean, Seventh-day Adventist, I don't know about. Two Corinthians, right? Two Corinthians, 317. That's the whole ball game. I like to do the right thing where I don't have to actually ask for forgiveness. When we go in church and, and when I drink my little wine, which is about the only wine I drink, and have my little cracker, I guess that's a form of asking for forgiveness. And I do that as often as possible because I feel cleansed. Have my little cracker, have my little cracker. And in this dream, there was a massive gathering and on the platform was Donald Trump, Kanye West, and Justin Bieber. Glasses, glasses, glasses. Boy, that sounds like an unholy trinity to me.